reconciled through the blood. We've been considering the power of the blood of Jesus and what it has done for us and what Jesus has done by shedding his blood on the cross of Calvary. Let's read this scripture, uh, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. It says, And by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him whether things on the earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. The blood of Jesus has made peace between God and us. Uh, we understand that sin has separated mankind from God uh, and that relationship that God intended for us to have with him was lost. Uh, but thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for what Jesus has done for us. Uh, the blood of Jesus speaks a word of peace. Uh, it brings us back to God. It reconciles us to God, which means that the breach between us and God in our relationship is somehow now non-existent because the blood of Jesus has been shed for us. And when we believe this, the power of the blood is demonstrated in our lives. So we've got to receive this truth. We've got to understand this truth that now through the blood of Jesus, uh, I have been brought back to, to God, that God doesn't uh, look at me as, as being far away and He wants me with Him, He wants me to relate uh, intimately with Him uh, and now He has made a way through His Son Jesus that I could come back and I could once again have that restored relationship with God. So the blood of Jesus has reconciled us back to God. The blood of Jesus uh, is also you know, through the propitiation uh, 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 of the blood of Jesus, we, we understand in scripture that we have been brought back to God. And, and you know what this uh, really reflects about God? Romans 3.25 tells us that by reconciling us back to God, what God has demonstrated is His goodness uh, and His righteousness towards us. You know, he did not uh, let us be in our condition uh, of being separated from him but he has extended his mercy he has shown his goodness uh, and and he has brought us back to himself even in the old testament when we look at the structure of the tabernacle when the priest would would go and, and put the blood on the mercy seat what the blood really spoke was that god uh, mankind should not be separated from you through the blood, the presence of God, God was able to commune uh, with the, the high priest. God was able to come down uh, into that tent and he was able to commune uh, there uh, and make his presence known. So the, so the blood uh, is, the blood symbolizes uh, that redemptive power. It symbolizes the peace that God wanted to make between man uh, and himself. And so this time as, as we meditate on the blood of Jesus, let's understand that there's nothing that we could do which can make peace between God and us. There's nothing that can reconcile us with God except the very work of God. And we know that God has perform this mighty work by dying on the cross for us and Jesus shed his blood and even until this day uh, the blood of Jesus speaks the word of peace so we can come back to God we can be reconciled to God all we need to know uh, is that our faith must be in the work of the blood that's the way the power of the blood will work in our lives and in our hearts. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you God for your blood and God we are so grateful that your blood has reconciled us back to God. Father God, the, the gap that nobody could bridge, oh God. Lord, our works can't bridge that gap. Father God, let this power uh, of reconciliation and uh, the power of your breakthrough, Father God, be seen in everyone's life. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.